Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Welcome back everyone. Anyone new, I review audio, gear, headphones. I'm also a photographer. I also look at smartphone cameras as well and any other tech that interests me. You can catch me on my socials, Twitter and Instagram. Instagram is just solely for photography. Anyway, let's show you the differences of what the boxes are like, what you get in the boxes, what's different. I'll be back in a sec. So talking about the comparison, you get same size box, the planar magnetics are in this sort of brownish and the dynamic drivers come, uh, the HG R10Ds, the dynamic driver come in the black box. I'll now show you the headphones as well. So if you look at the headphones, they are really identical in look. This, the darker finish is the planar magnetic and the lighter wood finish is the dynamic driver. They both have this Bluetooth module option which you can plug in the Hi-Fi Man Blue Mini 2. That's really clever, works really well. They both have the same headband and everything looks pretty much identical. In terms of cabling, they both have in the box the same beautiful, nice cables. This is XLR. It's a 3.5 balance. There's also the 6.3, so 3.5 in the box for both. And then you just have the 3.5 to 3.5 because these are very easily driven and that's quite handy to talk about. I'll now come back, we'll talk about the difference in sound quality and also weight, comfort, that sort of stuff because these are heavier than the dynamic drivers. To give you some idea, the dynamic uh, driver version weighs 337 grams and the planar magnetic weighs 460 grams. But let's talk about comfort fit and sound quality differences because boy are these different. So here you have two headphones um, in this hand here. These are the dynamic driver and these are the planar magnetic versions. So in terms of differences, obviously there's a 4,000 uh, dollar price difference with the planners but there's also other factors that you can't see whilst they look fairly similar these have a lighter wood what you're getting is the very advanced planner magnetic technology from hi-fi man that sits inside these cups there's also weight differences these are 337 grams and these are 460 and when i'm holding both like together you can actually feel that difference in your hand but on your head they're still both very light there's no question about it, the dynamic drivers are uber light, uber comfortable and yeah, fantastic. But what surprised me is when I'm using the planner versions, when I've got these on my head, they are again, really comfortable. The weight doesn't bother me one bit. In fact, these, this particular design with the circular cups is one of my favorite from Hi-Fi Man. I personally find this more comfortable than the oval shape. You might find that different but for me personally these fit and are really comfortable obviously when you put these on your head they, these cups stick out quite a bit but it doesn't really matter in terms of sound leakage now at higher volumes there is a slight leak of sound very 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 slight um, but they're not completely silent in case you're wondering um, but I asked um, a few people could they hear and none of them were bothered about it. So that's some feedback there. But in terms of the actual sound quality, it's a bit that you're quite interested in. There is quite a big difference between these two headphones, more than you can imagine. So let me just try and describe the differences. The dynamic driver, closed back, sounds like a closed back headphone, it has closed back headphone traits, except because of that large uh, wooden cup, it doesn't have, it has some open back characteristics, but it still means that it's um, a bit easier to drive than the planar magnetic. In fact, it goes like it's when you, if you have the same volume on everything and you plug the two headphones in, the direct driver is probably noticeably louder because it's that much easier to drive. It has more kick because of the closed back design, naturally just out of the box and yeah it's pretty good in that respect 
Compare it to the planar magnetic version. Now, whilst again that is a closed back design, it's probably the nearest I've ever heard to a closed back designed headphone sounding like an open back. It's probably 85, 90% of the way there. Um, it still has ultimately some closed back characteristics and that's more in terms of the bass response. Um, well, there's some minor differences there because it is a closed back design, but the planar magnetic has huge sound stage considering it's closed back. Very, very good detail retrieval, very intricate detail retrieval, and all the planar magnetic characteristics that you would expect, speed, everything is just fantastic. I also found that the more, the better quality of the amps, the more they're scaled as well. So you can be really impressed by, if you put better amplification with this, it scales up nicely, but in the same light, if you want to just take it off um, a portable music player, it will sound terrific as well. So very, very versatile. These are even, I'd say slightly more versatile being closed back. Again, lots of detail, lots of retrieval, but just not at the same level. I mean, these are terrific. I've got my, I've got my Bear Dynamic DT1990 Pros up there. And, you know, you listen to these, you listen to those. The Bears are a fantastic headphone. Um, they really are. But when you put these on, it's like, I wish I hadn't because they really show up those and put these on and it's, oh no, they show up these. And yet these are all fantastic headphones. Um, but I'll talk more about the sound. So in terms of um, treble and vocals and that sort of thing, the direct drivers are more intimate. It's a more warmer, closed uh, affair. The, the voices are more in front of you. With the planar magnetic, it's a wider field. It's not so much in your face, it's not as intimate. Um, if you're listening to an orchestra, the planners are much wider, really good sound stage. You can really pick the instruments out in a much finer detail, much, much, much clearer definition. The dynamic drivers, you still pick detail out, but it's not as wide the sound stage. It's not as deep, the height and width. Um, in terms of bass, these feel punchier. But if you look at the frequency response, these are 15 hertz to 35 kilohertz, and these are 10 hertz to 60 kilohertz. So these do have a much wider frequency response, and that does show when you're listening to them, uh, a lot of different genres of music. Um, these were the tracks, by the way, that I used to test these headphones. They're the same tracks that I use all over the place for every single review. Um, and I suppose that's really, you know, I was very excited by these closed back design headphones and hi-fi man, got to be honest, um, and I do like listening to them, but I prefer if you're into more of a natural or natural sound, then you're going to want to pick the Planet Magnetics. They are truly exceptional. Um, and also just like to say thanks for hi-fi man again for giving me the opportunity to re um, review these and take a look by sending them to me. Um, very privileged and thanks for the support of the channel, really appreciate it. Um, you might have some questions because it's very hard, everyone's got different music genres. I do try and listen to every single genre even if I don't like them myself, just to give an idea of how it sounds. Um, it's quite interesting because they're both really good with all different genres, but I say one's more of a closed back, one's more of an open back, um, intimate, uh, more spacious, and that sort of spacious feeling with the planet magnetics, both exceptional, um, both really comfortable. So if you've got any questions, I'll answer them below. This is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Catch you guys soon. Bye for now.